Hi everyone, this is Ishika Kesarwani and I welcome you all to the Tech Podcast. Today we are having Chakit Arora, he is the Devrel Engineer at Storyblog. Can you first start with your introduction? Sure, thank you Ishika. Uh, hello everyone, uh, I am Chakit and as Ishika mentioned, I am working as a Developer Relations Engineer at Storyblog. I am a full stack developer, I have been... I've been a full stack developer for like around two years now and I've, I have I like building applications, I like uh, writing articles, I like to talk tech and yep, I, I like to be involved in the community as well. So yeah, that's about me. Uh, when and why did you first start uh, contributing to community and how has this helped you out in your career? Awesome. So, so uh, I don't think I started initially with my with my career, you know, like like contributing to the community. It started around like one, one and a half year ago. So uh, my contribution was like, you know, I, I didn't do a lot of open source, but that's really amazing. Everyone should do it. Uh, f- from my side, I, I, I tried to, you know, like uh, when, when I started Twitter, I mean, when I started staying active on Twitter, uh, I used to talk to people, you know, like I, I used to make more content. I used to make threads. I mean, I still do that. I make threads. I write blogs. Uh, I, I talk to people, you know, th- there are there are a lot of people approaching like how to enter web dev or how to be a full stack developer and stuff like that. So uh, I'd say that's my way of giving to the community because community gives you back if, if you if you give give to the community. So so yeah, I, I'd say like it, it was around one, one and a half year ago. And yep, it turned out well. Yeah, there's a lot of things happening in the community, be it be, you know, just contributing through social media or doing seminars, etc. There's a lot of stuff you can, you know, look, look up for too. And open source is probably one of the best way to start with your journey. Be it be uh, literally any uh, technology that you can think of. Anyways, uh, you were first a developer, right? So like what really made you shift into DevRel? All right. So, so uh, I mean, uh, I, I still like building applications, you know, like, like being a full stack developer, starting from the flow to the end. Like, I, I really like that. Uh, but you know, like uh, once I started Twitter, and you know, like I, I saw that uh, there is a lot of uh, you know opportunity in Devrel, and Devrel seemed very interesting to me because uh, I was I was writing threads, I was writing articles, I was doing spaces, I was going to the events, I was attending the workshops. So I was kind of doing all the things that that a Devrel does. I mean, uh, like you're building some stuff, but you're also involved with the community, and you're you know you you're, you're able to explain a product, something like that. So, so that made me shift to Devrel and Devrel is pretty interesting to me. I mean, I really like being a Devrel. It's, it's a lot of fun. You know, you can, you can, you do a lot of other things, uh, just then building a product. So it's, it's super fun. You, you get to communicate with people, you, you get to write, you get to talk. So, so it's, it's super fun. Yeah. So like, what are the prerequisites if a person wants to start with Devrel be from a student's perspective, you know, at least get a Devrel as an intern. So I'd say uh, what what I've seen for for a devrel, you know, like uh, the the major tasks. I mean, you can you can you know uh, divide devrel into a lot of uh, different subcategories, but but you know uh, the major thing would be you, you should be good at communication. You know, like you might be speaking at a conference, you might be speaking at a podcast like this, you might be writing, you might be reading a lot. So so that you know communication is one key skill. But other than that, you must be able to give good demos sort of thing. Like you, you must be able to explain the product. You you know you, you have to think a little out of the box. Uh, as in you know like you you need to represent your product and you need to bridge the gap between uh, the developer community and your product. So it, it goes something like that. I mean you you should be you should be somewhere uh, doing some sort of coding. I mean you should be a little technical, but you know a lot of other non-tech skills are required as well. So I'd say it's a mix of tech and non-tech. Okay, so like according to you, what's the future scope of this stream? being a dev rail, like how long is it going to stay? Oh, I think it's going to stay a lot. I mean, it, it is, I don't think it's ever going to end because, uh, you know, like uh, before, before I was a dev rail, I didn't know that uh, there was these number of things happening uh, in the, in the dev rail, uh, I mean, uh, around the, you know, dev rail uh, scene. But uh, when, when I, when I became a dev rail, you know, when, when I see the teams, when I see my team, when I see uh, other companies, I see that there is a lot of scope and, uh, you know, once you start uh, indulging in your day-to-day activities, you see that there is a lot to do uh, being a devrel, and companies are spending a lot of money, right? Like for for devrels, I mean, they're hiring devrels, they're they're building good devrel teams, and it's really necessary because uh, you you need to showcase your product, you need to uh, you know make your product better. So so uh, again, as uh, 
you know uh, since uh, since i've been working when i as i started working on a day to day basis i got to know like there are a lot of things that i need to do and what the devrel team is working on so it's definitely never going to end and like more it's it's like it's you know it's it's open to it it is go- it is wide open and there are going to be a lot of more devrels coming in yeah but like um if you have to change your occupation like instead of this stream what occupation would you you know opt for no i mean uh, are you are you talking about devrel specifically no like different from devrel <laughs> Yeah I mean different from Devrel I, I I mean I was a full stack developer I loved being a full stack developer because it's it's super amazing for me you know when when you when you work the product from scratch when you build something from scratch and when you you know when you are the one building the front end as well when you are the one building back end when you are the one who is configuring the database when you are the one deploying so it's it it, it it's, it's super fun to me so I like full stack but uh, I mean I love Devrel right now I mean I have seen a lot of people comparing devrel and community management and then we have social media in this also so if you have to distinguish in between all of these how would you uh, I mean I, does I, community I, management or social media comes under this Yes I mean uh, you know you can you can divide devrel into a couple of fields like someone can be working on the community part someone can be working on the articles someone can be working on the documentation someone can be working on the demos someone can be working on the integration so so there are a lot of parts but i won't say that uh, developer relations is all about community community is one part of of developer relations so you can you can just consider it at, as one of the sub part of uh, of developer relations it's 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 like highly important i won't say that it's not important because staying in the community for a devrel is important but uh, i won't say that it's the only aspect of a devrel okay so like according to you what are the top 3 technologies that you know students should look up for to for right, the future so, all right so so i am i am a i am a full stack web developer so i can i can tell about web uh, uh i mean one should pick uh, you know one of the frameworks be it view react or angular there is a lot of uh, a buzz about react for for a while in the community like it's it's easy it's super friendly uh, it's like Uh, a lot of a lot of people are using it it's like most used among the new newcomers uh, but i personally prefer view so uh, it's like it's like uh, i'd say go with view and you know there are like uh, technology stop over uh, i mean over over that as well like nuxt is there gritsum is there quizar is there so there are like a lot of other frameworks uh, so once you learn one of these you can just uh, learn other uh, others from this then you you need to be good with one of the back end languages again i'd say a good combination if you are starting out new would be node and express or node or loopback fastify something like that because you are doing javascript on the front end so it gets easier if you do the javascript on back end and yeah i i think these these uh, these two you know like you you can you can be a good full stack developer once you are uh, into this and once you know once you start doing this much so i think these two and again i mean if if you look at the future web3 is buzzing up and it's it's the the hype is all there and uh, it's it's going to be super amazing so if if you want to get into web3 blockchains and stuff like that uh, it's still the right time and it is going to be the right time t- till a couple of more years so so you can definitely go for web3 metaverse is all around and it's it's going to be super fun indeed so i mean you must have seen a lot of students who are you know struggling so much to choose a choose the right track so how, like what would you suggest them to get out of their comfort zone and look for opportunities and applying for companies yeah i'd say uh, the one thing which i i've seen a lot of people doing is you know like everyone thinks that they should be wait they should be waiting for some time or they should wait for you know a couple of months more and they should be practicing more and then apply but the only thing that you know that works is applying you should you should definitely be applying at any moment at this moment if you are looking for a job you should definitely be applying you should you should look around for you know uh, uh for for uh, i mean the skills that are aligned to a particular role i mean if 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 they are aligned to you and if you can work those out and again if you are if you are if you are someone new who is entering the field you shouldn't be afraid because uh you know like companies are not looking for someone who can do everything from the beginning it's like they want someone who can learn it and you know they can scale it so it's somewhat like that you should you should definitely be applying all uh, all the time uh i mean if if you you know if you're starting new and if you want to get a job you should be applying right now it's it's like that 
I mean, obviously, there's nothing wrong in at least trying. If you don't try, how are you going to know the results at the end? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, like you've been through a long way now, from being a developer to a dev rel. <laughs> mm-hmm. There must be a lot of ups ups and downs. How did you get out of it? And like, what are the tips from your end that you would like to suggest the listeners that you have right. learned throughout your journey? You know, I, I'd say uh, again, it's somewhat related to the applying part. Uh, you should you shouldn't wait for doing something if if you are you know if you are if you are a new comer or if you are starting out something you should you shouldn't be waiting for doing something if you see a technology if it interests you you should just try that out you should just you know start learning that and there is this uh, tutorial hell i think it, this it's called something i think it's called exactly that so uh, it's it's a major issue i've been through that you know like uh, it's like you'll get a lot of content on a particular topic but you shouldn't be spending a lot of time on you know on on a particular topic because it's it's a wide field right technology tech is 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 a wide a very wide field right there are a lot of fields there are a lot of uh, things to explore so it's not like that you know you you're spending like 3 months on a css i've seen people doing that you shouldn't be spending 3 months on css you should you know you should just move on to the other step because if you are aiming something big there there is a lot to uh, cover uh, so so i'd say uh, just you know don't get stuck at one technology just try out more and more and more i mean just finish it and move on uh yeah uh, one thing would be that and there was something else i was thinking but yeah i mean th- this this was this was the one thing one thing which i have personally personally seen a lot of students struggling with is going through the tutorial hell that you just talked about i mm-hmm. mean they don't know the right path and for that we have the communities for that we have a lot of mentors and again open source is one thing that they can look up up for to because over there you'll be having so many mentors who will be more than happy to help you out absolutely absolutely so everyone is- should you know yeah yeah i mean I, i was just i was just saying everyone should you know uh, get get i mean if if you're getting into the community if you're even posting what you're doing it helps a lot because you know someone is going to see it and someone is going to give you a feedback that it's the right way it's the wrong way something like that and you can you can get a good path and uh, more over the tutorial hell it's it's somewhat you know uh, you 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 have to you know uh, figure your own way out something like that because uh, you know like there are a bunch of road maps if you talk to five people they'll they'll give you five different road maps so it's like you you have to figure something out on your own but you don't have to get stuck that's a you know fine sort of line over there but yeah that that needs to be worked on again over there you really need to prioritize your time and you know just focus on the right thing and not just start doing everything just because everyone is doing that definitely definitely So um, on that note we can end today's se- uh, session thank you so much okay for taking out time and coming up here and sharing your journey with us with the listeners and i really hope that they were able to take something from this session and also to all the listeners stay tuned because we're going to come up with a lot more videos like this thank you for joining i hope the same it was it was great being here thank you so much <laughs>